the next episode of the microbiology tube so today we are discussing about the questions that that the examiner can ask to the students in the in the microbiology practical so they will is they will ask you the very simple questions at first so they will ask you about the reagents that are used in the gram staining and this is the very simple question so the reagents that is used in the gram staining is the are the crystal violet iodine in 95 percent ethanol also called as the alcohol saffronin so the gram positive bacteria will take the color of the crystal violet and they will be violent in color so similarly the gram negative bacteria will take the color of saffronin and will be red in color so again they will ask you about the five examples of the gram positive bacteria so the five examples of the gram positive bacteria are the staphylococcus streptococcus and the micrococcus so these are the cocus so these are coca insect so all the coca are the gram positive except the nigeria and the brahmanella so all the medically important bacteria which are cocci are gram positive except the nigeria and the brahmanella so if you see here the staphylococcus is the gram positive streptococcus there is written coccus it is the gram positive micrococcus there is written coccus it is also the gram positive so this bacillus species and clostridium species are the also gram positive but these are rod shape so these are rod so this two are rod sept and these are the coca in sept so they will also ask you about the five gram negative bacteria so this is the not the gram positive so they will ask you about the gram negative bacteria so that will be the gram negative bacteria so the gram negative bacteria are the e coli salmonella cisella fruitiers cytobacter providencia cerecia so there are various examples of the gram negative bacteria so all the interbacteriaceae are the gram negative so they will also ask you the types of the fungi so the fungi can be classified into the yeast mold and diamorphic fungi so the yeast are the unicellular microorganisms mold are the multicellular microorganisms and the diamorphic fungi are those microorganisms which changes its morphology according to according to the temperature so the examples of the yeast are the saccharomyces cerevisiae candida species cryptococcus species the example of the mold are the penicillium fusarium rhizopus species the example of the diamorphic fungi are the histoplasma capsulatum penicillium marnefi so there are also a lot of the examples of the yeast mold and diamorphic fungi but for the basic or the general microbiology these are enough for your practical examination so if you want to learn better you can go out to other literatures books for that one so they will also ask you about the acid fast staining so in the acid fast staining what are the reagent used so they will ask the questions so the examples will be the cam c a m cam that means the c stands for the carbol fusion a stands for the acid alcohol and m stands for the methylene blue or the malachite green so the examples of the acid fast staining are the mycobacterium species the mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae and nocardia species so this acid fast bacteria are red in color so these are red in color so the next questions they will ask you about is the spore former bacteria so the spore former are those bacteria which can tolerate the high radiations uv radiation they can tolerate the high temperature they can tolerate the uh, they can tolerate the nutrient deficiency so these bacteria are the bacillus species 
Clostridium species, Coxilla burnetii species, D. sulfotomaculum species, and Sporolactobacillus species. So you have to remember this before going to your practical examination. Bacillus species, Clostridium species, Coxilla burnetii, D. sulfotomaculum, and Sporolactobacillus species. So the next is the capsulated bacteria. So the capsule is the outermost gelatinous layer that is secreted by the bacteria that helps it to get rid of phagocytic cells. So the presence of the capsule in a bacteria makes it more virulent. So the examples of the capsulated bacteria are the Streptococcus pneumoniae, Bacillus anthracis, Capsella pneumoniae, Streptococcus mutans, Haemophilus influenza and the Clostridium species. So these are the example of capsulated bacteria. So they also will ask you about the types of the bacteria on the basis of the oxygen requirements. So on the basis of the oxygen requirement, we can divide the bacteria into the four types. One is the aerophilic, which means it, it needs the oxygen for their growth. Anaerobic means it does not need oxygen for their growth. So anaerobic bacteria will be inhibited in the presence of the oxygen. So facultative anaerobes means actually this is the anaerobes. So you can see here written anaerobes. So this anaerobes. So facultative anaerobes are actually anaerobes but that can tolerate the oxygen and can grow. So these are the facultative anaerobes. So next is the microaerophilic. So these are the bacteria that can that needs the is very small concentration or of the oxygen so the aerobic bacteria are the bacillus pseudomonas anaerobic bacteria are the clostridium species bacteroids fusobacterium peptostreptococcus peptococcus ruminococcus so next is the facultative anaerobes so the members of the enterobacteriaceae are the facultative anaerobes. So the enterobacteriaceae are the E. coli, Capsella, Cisella, Salmonella, Proteus, Providencia, Ceresia. So these are the examples of the enterobacteriaceae and these all are facultative. So next is the microaerophilic. So the microaerophilic, the examples are Mycobacterium tuberculosis which is very common, Campylobacter species, and helicobacter species. So these are the examples of microaerophilic. So the next question they will ask you about is the motile and non-motile bacteria. So you have you can see here. So you can see here. So the motile bacteria are the Salmonella, E. coli, Proteus, Providencia, Pseudomonas. So there are a lot of the motile bacteria. So better remember the non-motile bacteria. So you don't have to remember all. I just Re just remember some of the common like the Cisella and the Capsella. So this is the non-motile bacteria. So these are non-motile gram-negative bacteria. So this red indicates the gram-negative. So similarly, the gram in the gram-positive bacteria, Bacillus anthracis are motile and the Clostridium species are motile, while others are the non-motile. So you have to remember these points before entering into your examination hall so thank you for watching this video so if you if this video is fruitful to you please don't forget to press the subscribe button thank you so much